Let's cut to the chase and just answer this question right away. Is this Lotus work table worth it? For me, the answer is yes, 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 yes. These work tables are so good, I got six. Actually, they're so good, I got more than six. But that's because I get carried away sometimes when I really like a tool. Just ask my wife, but I digress. For most people, one or two would probably be more than enough. Let's talk about three reasons why one or two of these would be perfect for you. The first is portability. If you have a small space, these work tables fold up and tuck away nicely. See that? Five tables tucked away on the footprint of one table and at about half the height. Awesome! The second is redundancy. If you're like me, you probably own, have built, or want a pair of saw horses. I have made my own saw horses and have also owned saw horses from Possibuild, Tough Build, and even Lotus. In fact, I own a pair of foldable saw horses from Bora right now. Now, if you're also like me, you probably end up being too lazy to set them up and just use any surface already available outside, but I digress again, so never mind that. Not only are these work tables work surfaces by default, and a substantial work surface at that if you have two or more, they also double as saw horses if you want them to be. Just use these attachments and you have the classic 2x4 workstation. So cool. Finally, the third reason this is a great choice is its versatility. There are actually other work tables in the market. I've owned a Black & Decker, which is on the smaller side, so later on I was in the market for a bigger one. I was choosing between the Craig and Works. I actually almost got the Craig, but I watched some reviews on YouTube that were a bit critical of the weight and pinch points on the Craig. And because I always tend to fold up my work tables and store them away, I decided to go with the Works. And up until this point, I was actually really happy with the Works until she showed up. Let me explain why. We already talked about portability. The Lotus folds up into a smaller unit, making it take less space when stored versus the Works. The Lotus clamps are also built in. Now to be fair, I actually wasn't sure this was a good thing. I thought the detachable works clamps would be more versatile because you can use the clamps on other things. Ask me how many times I've used the works clamps for other things? Zero. The other thing is setting up the clamps. The works can be a bit cumbersome. And the clamps stick out quite a bit so I have more than once snagged or bumped into the ends of those clamps. The Lotus, on the other hand, have built-in clamps with these handles that are very ergonomic to use and fold out of the way when not in use. I actually really like that. As far as bench dogs, storage pockets, bottom tool shelf, ruler guides, and other things that might come with most work tables, these have it too. So you're really getting the best of what's already out there without much compromise. So overall, I'd say for a DIYer who will occasionally need a work surface, one or two of these would be perfect. Finally, there's always the argument that for the money, you can build your own workbench, and I get that. I've been DIYing for years and I've always wanted to make myself a workbench. To this day, I still haven't. I will, I promise. Having said this, more often than not, when you're working on a build, you usually want to get on with the build rather than build something for the build. You know what I mean? So for those of you who would rather just get a work surface and get on with it, I think the Lotus work table is a great option. 